as a leader, you've had lots of experience with lifting staff engagement. Tell us about some of the techniques that you use to lift it. Um, lifting staff engagement for me is all about having a really clear view on purpose. Um, you know, engagement's there for a particular purpose. So, you know, my approach has always been trying to articulate clearly what the organisation's on about mm -hmm. and the behaviours that we're looking for. And then to go and take a sample about how well that's working with, a, with an engagement survey. Um, and that, that, I think that's a reasonably tried and true sort of formula, uh, clear articul articulation of direction. But to make it real for people, you have to be able to translate that into things that resonate in their jobs. So this whole idea about a line of sight between a broad organisational direction and an individual's role in that is the essence to it. How do you do that? Um, by using a number of devices um, that are able to sort of take uh, big ideas and make them very real for people and then communicate it and communicate it and continue to communicate it. And in my experience that actually is a lot about um, sort of like a one-on-one -on -one almost uh, discussion, verbal communication. We do a lot in terms of articulating direction but I personally make it my job and my leadership team to get out and individually discuss this with staff, staff groups. And you know, we, we've now sort of built up quite a pattern around that. You talked about behaviours a minute ago. Yeah. How do you reinforce the desirable behaviours and disincentivise the ones that you perhaps don't want? Oh, it's quite interesting because we've, we've tended to concentrate on behaviours rather than values. Um, values is a very loaded word in and of itself. and people come to work with their own values and it's really hard for an employer to substitute that. So the thing we can really see of our staff is the way that they behave. And in my view, you know, as, an, as a leader and as an employer, um, these are the behaviours that are required from you at work. So our behaviours are, you know, sign up, team up and front up. And part of our old organisational culture would be to list out all of the individual things to the nth degree. <laughs> haven't done, done that, yeah. left that quite broad. So what do we really mean by sign up? Well, that's about the sense of commitment to what we're doing. Uh, and team up, both internally and externally, that's reasonably self-evident. And front up, you know, the sense of accountability and the sense to step forward when they're going gets pretty tough. So taking NZTA as an example, your engagement scores have lifted and lifted quite significantly. Have you seen a, a correlation with improvements in customer satisfaction? Well, we've had um, significant shifts each time we've done an engagement survey, so it's been a you know a progression over time, yeah. and we're not we're not where we want to be either. We'd like to be further ahead, and I'm sure we can achieve that. Um, at the same time, we've done other various other metrics around what of our what's our customer service satisfaction levels looking like, and it's hard you can't make an absolute. No causal link between the two, but we've also seen a big shift in those things going on at the same time. And in our Gallup survey we've added particular questions onto the back of that of things that we're trying to look for ourselves. So we've added some things about um, our customer service orientation as one of the other sort of survey marks. And we've seen, well, sort of more open-ended questions about um, How's the organisation going? And being a more customer-focused organisation, we've seen a we've seen a shift in that data mm. over exactly the same period. And the big idea is, you know, a more engaged organisation has to be for a purpose. Yes. You know, we're trying to line ourselves up about our big goals and priorities. That's exactly what we're trying to do.